<laughs> Hi everybody, we're back again. We are now version 4.0 of the Unhappy Hour and I'm really pleased to say that Nikki is still here with me and <laughs> as you glad know, to be she's here. still glad to be here. Um, we've got some fun and laughter for you today. Um, we're going to try and do a few product reviews on some Easter eggs because Easter's next weekend. As you can see, we're still wearing our gloves. Um, we are COVID secure. Um, we have been regularly tested as well, so we're in a safe working environment and we are socially distanced as much as we possibly can do. But Nikki, as explained before, she's still in my work bubble. I still can't get rid of her <laughs> and um, <laughs> it's tough. So yeah, so that's where we are. So welcome to the March VN Times Happy Hour. And um, as it's a magical one, what we actually have this time is these wonderful little wizards, okay? Um, these are on social media and they've been trending a bit apparently. Um, so we've got five of them to give away. So if you're really quick, the first five people who put their name and say, I want a wizard, hashtag the happy hour in the comments on the left hand side, um, you'll get it, simple as that. Right, we're gonna do a quick product review on some of the Easter eggs. Like we said, it's Easter next week, but Nick, are you up for a little bit of a challenge? Go on. You know, it's not vegetable related again, is it? It might be vegetable related. Go on. In the spirit of Easter. Mm. Okay, got a present for you. Okay. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Do I have to close my eyes? Close your eyes. Okay. Now, I bought this especially for you. Happy Easter. Um, I don't know why I'm saying thanks just yet. Oh, my gloves. Please don't be in Am I dressing up as a sodding carrot? <laughs> Alright, back in five. <laughs> so whilst Nick's going away to get dressed up as a carrot, um, I thought it's only fair that I do the same sort of thing. And I'm going to be the rabbit. So bear with us and we'll be right back, okay? So this is me. I am the rabbit, the Easter buddy. It's really hot in here. <laughs> We are going to attempt to make you all things Easter by using some unopened or unused Easter chocolate. Um, we're going to be making a... Rice Krispie cake. Hot chocolate. A chocolate face mask. Hey? Chocolate face mask. Really? You didn't yeah. say that to me. Oh. <laughs> okay. No. We're also going to make a proper gigantic, gigantic <laughs> Easter cake. So, first things first. So basically, as you can see, we went shopping and we thought we'd have a little look to see what's on the market this year. Easter's next weekend. If you're working over the weekend, then thank you very much. Give you a round of applause. Yeah. Uh, you're doing a sterling job and we really, really appreciate it. So thank you very much. So Nick, which one are you going to tuck into? I've got my eye on that Milky Bar one, if I'm honest. Milky Bar. It is just the right size. And if I remember rightly, this one was a pound and you get 65 grams worth of chocolate. So. I think it's perfect, kind of one sitting. <laughs> me personally, I prefer the ones in the bag, they're a pound a packet, and you get 80 grams worth of chocolate. So for me, it's a no brainer. Whereas on here, MM land, I'd say, it's like three pound, and you're basically paying for the packaging. It's a lot of packaging and not a lot of chocolate. I think the one which best represents value for money, if you've got lots of small people or you want to just treat people around the practice, and for six quid, you've got this from Tesco, Hesco's? From Hesco's. Tesco's. <laughs> It's because it's very hot in here. It's very hot. 725 grams. Lot of chocolate, six yeah. pound, and there's over 40 eggs in there. Mm. So you can hide them in the practice, have a bit of fun with your colleagues. And those who don't always like chocolate, wine gums. They've now brought out one. So full of wine gums. It's not sadly a wine gum Easter egg, because oh, that's still that chocolate. Would have been incredible. But inside they've got the wine gum. We've also got dairy flea flea. Flea. Dairy free, gluten free, and vegan as well. Yeah, I've got to admit, it is a very strange colour, but. Yeah, it's a bit purple. Yeah. We've got a chocolate orange version of it here, and Nikki, you've got. I've got the bunny comb, apparently. And bunny comb. In all fairness, a lot less ingredients yes. in these, but yes. you're paying double for the privilege. These so. are 95 grams each. So we're going to open this one up. Let's do this one first of all. This one up yeah. well. All the packaging, by the way, now is actually fully recyclable, so that's a really good thing. But it's it's grey. You, you try it, Nick. Oh, brilliant, yeah. You try that. Okay. It's going to be mean. Oh, it's really hot in here, I have to say. Oh, it knocks. Oh. oh, actually, no, it's not so bad once it's out of the packaging. Nick and the zip stuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God, it is. Hang on. Oh. It's so hot. a rabbit. Oh, Jesus. Oh, there we go. 
close call. It was really hot. If you right. see me pass out on the floor, it's <laughs> because. <laughs> God, those cow arms are so strong. Okay, let me try this bit here. So this is the. That is the dare everything free, basically. <laughs> no disrespect. So you leave like out there. <laughs> what's the point? Uh, yeah. Right. Mm, no. Um, mm. With that in mind, no. we'll put that to one yeah, side. In fact, just... we'll throw it in the bin because yeah. we were going to obviously use some of the chocolate later on to make our hot chocolate and stuff like that. I don't think there's any saving that one. If I'm real, <laughs> that's not going to happen. That's really not going to happen. <laughs> My favourite, out of this, in all fairness, is the Rolos, the Aeros. It's a 75p. Mm. You can't go wrong with no. basically. Less packaging, more chocolate. Small Everyone's one. really happy. And I can't see. It's this <laughs> bit of. Hot. Hot. Actually, I'm alright. I'm really hot. It's so hot. I can't believe it's just like a bunny and a carrot. <laughs> what did you so do to it work today, Nick? We dressed up as a bunny and a carrot. Why? What's a bunny got to do with Easter, anyway? Oh, God, I know. It's something to do with spring and it represents spring or maybe a German fairy tale. They normally boil down to those. <laughs> no, but you don't know. You don't really know, do I you? I don't. But if anyone else knows what a bunny's got to do with yes. um, Easter, please let us know. Yeah, please do. Right, let's move on. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do today is make you a delicious, nice, hot, thick, creamy... <laughs> Hot chocolate, okay? So, first we're going to do is measure out. Probably, I don't know, we're going to wing it again. I mean, that's what our trait is, basically. We just wing it and see how things go. We're going to fill this up to half. So I'd probably say half a litre, something like that, in the microwave for a couple of minutes. So whilst the microwave's going, just literally have a sing song to yourself or listen to this lovely Easter music now while we have a little dance around. Don't forget to hashtag us at VN Happy Hour. Thank you. <laughs> okay, while the milk's boiling, and I'm boiling, <laughs> what we've got, we've got three unopened, unused Easter eggs. We've got some whippy cream, marshmallows. We've got a cafetiere. The reason for the cafetiere is because we haven't got a milk frother here. So we're gonna froth the milk up up here, but there's a reason for using the cafetiere, which will become apparent right now. Pour into the cafetiere for me. Mm. And then what we'll do, we'll just open some of these milk chocolate Eggs, one. chuck them in. Hopefully the heat of the milk will help to... <laughs> At the moment they're just floating. They're just floating. Shall I give them a crush? Yeah, a bit more. There we go. So, hold on the top, catch the air. Oh! You know, I had my doubts, but... I told you, this would work. There you go, you can see it's almost like doubled in size. And for 30 seconds a quick work it out. And we're there, so hot chocolate has been made. So, by the way, if we pour out nice oh. thin, creamy hot chocolate. We'll get the square creamer already. Okay, decorate, obviously, you can do that with some marshmallows. Some lovely dinosaur sprinkles. How cool are they? They are mega. So, as you can see, <laughs> we've actually made something I'm quite proud of. Successfully! <laughs> we've made something successful. Don't switch off to another channel. No, <laughs> don't go anywhere else. Stay with us. Here is the hot chocolate. So, Cheers. I'm not going to drink it because I don't like milk. Oh no, you can't do milk. Cheers. I will though. It's very milky. Put a bit more cream in it. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to do it. It's been something good. Ah, <laughs> Cheers. Go And then we'll be ready for the next part, which is going to be making our Easter cake for you. So. Okay, so we're back. Remember to hashtag being happy hour us. And if you have any questions or something you'd like to see us do next time round, then please feel free to email us at vnhappyhour at vbd.co.uk. Okay, so we're going to have a go at making another cake for you. Okay, the first time round, as you know, it wasn't very successful. I don't think this would be much better, mm -hmm. but we are going to follow the recipe ish. Kind of. We haven't got all the ingredients, <laughs> no. but we're going to give it a go. So, 
First things first, okay. 140 grams of self-raising flour. It should be plain flour, but because we haven't got baking powder or plain flour, we're gonna use that. Next, we've got 175 grams of demerara sugar. Because we haven't got any white sugar. Because <laughs> we really want sugar, so <laughs> we thought we'd give that a go as well. So in that one goes. A couple of eggs. We will crack. Oh, how do you do that? You just crack it. No, I know, but you did this weird one-handed thing. No. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not like that. <laughs> it's a skill, Luke. It's a skill. That I don't have. We haven't got any cocoa powder, but this is the whole purpose of this happy hour for you. What we've done is that you melt some old Easter egg chocolate and we're going to spoon that in to this mixture. The other thing it actually calls for in the recipe is 100 millilitres of sunflower oil. Again, we haven't got that, so we're going to try what it's like with olive oil. This is 250 mil, so I reckon roughly if we go about that much, a little bit more. <laughs> The oiliest cake. <laughs> and what we do is just mix away. Oh, oh. Why does it smell like garlic? It's like garlic on the top. Oh, so a quick revision to the recipe. Don't use garlic and rosemary olive oil. I mean, we've come this far. We've got to carry on. We're just going to go through it. It does. <laughs> That's very garlicky. That's very, very garlicky. Right, I think that's mixed enough. Yeah, now we've got to get it into this. Yeah, so... <laughs> da -da -da -da. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got another spoon? Need another spoon. Here you go. Do you want me to hold a new spoon out? Yeah. Oh, we've got it. Oh god, this is very How long does it say you need to cook this for? Seven minutes. Seven? Seven. So recap what's in there, Nick. What's the ingredients? So you should have had 200 millilitres of sunflower oil, 175 grams of caster sugar, 140 grams of plain flour, three tablespoons of cocoa, we didn't do. No. Uh, three tea teaspoons? Yeah, tisps. Of baking powder, tisps. we didn't do. Tisps. tisps. It's always about tisps. tisps. Two large eggs, and oh, we didn't do the vanilla up to so the cake. So seven, seven minutes. minutes later, we'll see what comes out. So. Excuse us, we'll prep the um, the rest of the stuff. See you soon. Bye bye. Cakes cooking in the microwave. What we do now, we're going to make some cornflake cakes. We're not going to bother measuring any of this out because it's a bit pointless at this stage because we've pretty much got a self measure of what we're going to do here. We bought those small individual portion packets from Kellogg's, so like, uh, what are they, two quid for a box of eight or yeah. a quid for a box of eight, something like that. Perfect for if you've got kids and then they can do their own and they don't have to. Have a share. big block there. <laughs> We're simply just going to move, get a 12, uneaten chocolate Easter egg, chuck it into a bowl, get some sugar. Does that come after or before? That doesn't come at all. <laughs> <laughs> we do need 100 grams of butter, which is what I've just lobbed in there. We and we'll chuck those. some of those in. That'll be alright. Well, <laughs> give us 30 seconds, we're going to stick in the microwave and see how things go. <laughs> so, a minute later. This is what you get. A bowl full of really, really unhealthy, yep. lovely, juicy cooked marshmallows, some chocolate which is in there. We just mix it through a bit. The butter's obviously melted down nicely. It is going. Look, we just need to be able to yeah. whisk up a bit better yeah. than this, but we just aren't really. This could almost be like a rocky road, actually. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, guess what's ready? Okay, so the, the ting, ting, ting has just happened. Oh. And our cake is ready. So we'll oh. leave that there to me just to hopefully bind through a bit, so that's okay. Um, oh, I should not have inhaled. <laughs> is it that bad? Oh. Okay. Oh. This is the cake, people. This is the cake. Get ready. Da, da, da. Wow! It almost it looks, like, looks a like a cake. I can smell burning, <laughs> but I don't think it's burned. That's burned. Is that not burnt? That's burnt. Stop poking it with your glove. Right, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. Okay, let's flip it out. We'll get it out. No, 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 don't, don't, don't. Look. You don't notice it. <laughs> <laughs> Problem solved. There, there you, you go. go. Perfect. Okay. Look at that. What we will do, we'll just, we just do this bit first. Let's leave this to cool down a bit yes. so it's easy for us to handle. So I'll take this out of shot. Hopefully out of the building. So we've got this still going. I mean, it's gotten stickier. The marshmallows are doing what 
we kind of hoped they would do. I think mean, what we just need to do is just spoon it in. If we spoon it in, like so. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. So that is your used up Easter egg. Yeah. And butter. And butter <laughs> cornflakes, yeah, nice crispies, marshmallows. marshmallows, chucked together. What I'll leave them to do now is literally go in the fridge for half hour, half an hour. I don't know, should we try one? You try one. Oh, Here's a hat that you must take home. Happy Easter. That's really not bad. That's okay. That's all right. I'll give them a bath. Perfect. What we're going to do, we're going to actually just attempt just to hopefully get this out in one piece. Ready? Yeah. One, two, two three. three. Good. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, hot, hot. <laughs> yep. Okay. It's a cake, at least. It's done something. Um, so what we're going to do now, we're going to decorate this cake. We bought some Betty Crocker chocolate and hazelnut fudge from the icing. Here's a hat that you must take home. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. So, there we go. This is our not so nice Easter egg chocolate cake made with uh, everything which yeah. you shouldn't put into the ingredients yeah. basically. Uh, I would always say check the recipe before starting or, or check the bottles maybe. Yeah. yeah. So we're coming to the end of this very soon um, but the last thing Nikki wants to do is demonstrate what you can do with a um, milk chocolate face mask mm. and somehow I've got a feeling that the face mask is going to be coming on me. Yeah. And, For sure. Um, I'm going to get a stool and I'm going to take, well Nikki can take it away basically. I shall, I shall. I can get the blooming gloves on. Right, so this is a chocolate face mask. It's supposed to be rejuvenating. I have no idea if it actually is or not. So, oh, it's got some bloody resistance to it. Um, first off, I'm going to melt some chocolate, but obviously I'm not going to like superheat it because it is about to go on oh, someone's face. On. Is there a tail on this? <laughs> <laughs> so that was an entire egg because this is in cups and I don't know cups. So whack on for If someone can tell seconds. me an easier tip how to put rubber gloves on, I would like to hear about it. So if you can put a comment in the side there to tell me exactly how you do that, much appreciate it, because I just can never ever get them on. <laughs> Not looking forward to this, I have to say. <laughs> Right, and then I want two thirds of a cup of milk, one teaspoon of sea salt, three tablespoons of brown sugar. I'm going to judge this a little bit. I would judge it a bit more. I mean, it's rejuvenating, I suppose, no matter how melted it is, but... Can I take this off now? You can. Right. Oh, Nick, it's stuck again. No. Oh, oh. Then. oh, you're a bit red. Do you want the apron? No, I'll just tuck that in. Okay, I'll be gentle. With the gigantic. So, what's this supposed to do? Um, rejuvenate. You don't tell me. You just got this off the internet this morning. I did. Hundred percent. <laughs> Google chocolate face mask. First one that came up. Print. <laughs> okay. Right. How does that feel? Well, it feels quite nice actually. It reminds me of that chocolate body paint we used to get when you. <laughs> Well, that's just made her touch awkward. <laughs> right, gently. Here's a hat that you must take home. Happy Easter, happy Easter. You know what? I've not done a bad job there. I'm better at applying masks than I am at baking. There you go. So, uh, Ed, <laughs> Nikki, tell me, how long are you supposed to leave this on for? 15 to 20 minutes, and you're that's also supposed happening. to do it tw twice a week. Twice a week, and what's the benefits of doing this? Don't know, I so didn't read that far down the page. <laughs> with chocolate. So I think this brings us to an end of the VN Happy Hour segment, what me and Nikki do. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. Um, we've had a giggle yet again. Um, we know we're not the best bakers, we know that full well. We're not the best creative people. No. But if we brought a bit of sunshine, a bit of laughter into your life for the last 15, 20 minutes, then we've done our job. So job done, yeah. Have a great rest of the happy hour and um, we we'll see you next time, hopefully. Don't forget to send in your requests for the next one um, and hashtag us at VN, hashtag VN happy hour. Also, what else do you want to see Nikki dress up as? Because oh, trust me, you've got plenty of costumes <laughs> you can put on. All right, take care, everyone. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> and later. see you soon. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.